Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode. This is another No Man's Sky video and yet again it is another guide. This guide is how to get any S-Class freighter you want for free or any freighter of that matter of fact. It could be any style you want, anything you want at all. So the way you do this is, well the, f the way you could do it for free is that you, uh, it has to be early on in the game. Um, you have to play for a minimum of three hours and then once you warp five times you will then be received, the game will reward you with a free freighter. Now I recommend that you get a base up and going first and make a save point or a save beacon so that when you, uh, before you warp you make sure to save. This way that when you do warp after you're safe, if the freighter spawns, once you kill the ships and you secure the freighter, you inspect it and if you do not like it you can simply just say no and then reload your manual point. So for example I have just done it here. He'll I'll inspect the freighter, it's a B-class, it's alright, but let's say I don't want it, I can click leave, reload my last manual save, and I can rinse and repeat the same process. Now there are a couple of things that I have to be make you wary of, is that do not shoot the freighter or any of the other little ships around it except from the enemies. Now I know that may seem obvious, but I have occasionally by accident shot one of them, and this will cause you not to be able to get the freighter at all. So even if you kill the pirates or the other ships, you cannot get the uh, the freighter afterwards and it will also send additional sentinels and ships after you to kill you. So you might as well reload instantly once you've done that as it will be no point carrying that on. Also, the different space cluster depends on what type of freighter you're going to get. So it will quickly show me an anomaly because that's how far I've got into the game. But there are different economy levels in each space cluster that will vary what type of freighter that will spawn there. For example, th the best chances of getting an S or an A class is a level 3, well a 3 star economy. See I haven't found one recently but the best, the best one I have found is this 2 star. So that is what I'm going to have to deal with. See now I have done this method on my older account and it does still work. Um, but that in that case you will have to pay for it. Um, and while I was doing that, I did do it for, I think it was about two and a half hours. And I came across two S classes. The first one I found roughly after an hour, and while the other one took me at roughly about 40 minutes after. So it was quite annoying to do, but I was getting a decent amount of uh, A's and B's. But yeah. Anyway, as you can see, this, the freighter has spawned after doing this, and I will skip to when I'm at the captain. Okay, so once you have attacked and defeated the attack ships, um, you will then get an emergency comms, which you can press X and left click, and it will. He'll pretty much just tell you that I am welcome upon the freighter, and he'll send me the location of the entrance. So I've just got to the captain, and I can inspect it again. And it's an A class, look at that. So I can get an A class, it's a lot better than the last one. Again, it depends on the economy level of how your chances are on getting a better class freighter. But also, each space cluster will have their own freighter look and appearance. So if you don't like this look, you can always try a different high economy area. Um, but yeah, that is the best way. And this is the best way to get a free freighter. And remember, this method does work after you get your first free one. But again, you will have to pay for it. So I hope this helped. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy.